Okay, so let's proceed with number two example. Number two example is 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang quadratic term natin, ganun pa rin, may value pa rin na 2, which is dapat maging 1 para mas madali natin siyang masolve. So, copy lang muna natin. 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, divide natin ulit sila lahat. Saan? Sa 2. Okay. So, this will become 2 divided by 2 is 1. That will leave you as x squared plus 8 divided by 2 is 4. Copy natin yung x. Minus 10 divided by 2 is 5. Equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. So, meron na tayong standard form. But then, kailangan natin mapunta tong negative 5 sa right side. So, what we're going to do is to, what? Add another 5 para matanggal natin yung 5 sa right side. So, kung nag-add tayo ng 5, mag-add din tayo ng 5 sa right side. Okay? So, next. Adjust ko lang. So, next. So, this will become x squared plus 4x plus blank. Nilagay ko na yung blank para makapag-proceed na tayo sa next natin. Okay? So, let's find out kung ano nga ba yung value nung nasa dulo natin. Okay? So, again, gamitin natin yung formula. 1 half times b squared. Okay? So, ano ba ang value ng just natin. Ano ang value ng letter B natin? That is, what? 4 squared. Okay? So, this is this one is 4. So, 4 times 1 is 4 over 2. As I've said, kokopyahin lang natin yung denominator. Multiply natin yung 4 sa numerator, which is 1. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Saka natin siya is squared. So, 2 squared is 4. So, meron na tayong 4 dito. So, yan yung ilalagay natin sa magkabilang gilid. Okay? So, next. So, after that, proceed na tayo sa finding the perfect square binomial nitong trinomial natin. So, this will lead us x, ano ba yung nakuha natin after natin to i-divide? Which is 2. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, x plus 2 squared is equal to 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay? So, meron na tayo ulit ganitong equation. So, what we are going to do next is to extract. Okay? So, this will lead us to x plus 2 equals positive and negative what? 3. Okay? So, dalawa ulit ang magiging possible answer. So, x plus 2 is equal to positive 3 and x plus 2 equals negative 3. So, diretso na natin sa taas dahil hindi na siya kasha dito sa baba. So, dito tayo sa taas. Okay. So, so, our given is x plus 2 equals 3 and, and x plus 2 equals negative 3. Okay? So, para mawala yung 2 sa left side, is isosubtract natin siya sa 2. So, 3 minus 2. So, this will become x is equal to, this one is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay? Positive 1. Why? Mas malaki yung 3 kaysa sa 2. Ano ang sign ng 3? Positive. Okay? So, ganun din dito sa kabila. Negative 3 minus 2. So, this will become negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. So, this is our answers. Okay? 
Next. So, let's do the checking para malaman natin kung tama ang sagot natin. So, to check, copy natin ulit yung equation natin na 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, saan ba ito nang galing? Doon to sa original natin na equation. Yun nandun sa may example natin. So, what if the value of x is 1? Next, how about if the value of x is negative 5? So, let's check. So, substitute natin 2 times 1 squared plus 8 times 1 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, dapat mag 0 siya. So, 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 plus 8 times 1 is 8 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, 2 plus 8 is 10. So, 10 minus 10 is 0. So, therefore, our answer is correct. How about 5? Negative 5. 2 times negative 5 squared plus 8 times negative 5 minus 10 is equal to 0. Next. So, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. And positive 25 times 2 is 50. So, 8 times negative 5 is negative 40 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, pagsamahin natin itong dalawa, since sila yung magkaparehas ang sign, so this will lead us minus 50. Kasi 40 plus 10 is 50. Okay? So, 50 minus 50 is 0. So, therefore, our answer that 5 or negative 5 and 1 are correct. Therefore, the answers are 1 and negative 5.